Hey my loves, good morning, how are you all doing? I hope you are well, welcome back again to another video. It's currently to 7 and I'm about to step out. I will be taking you guys to the market today. I have my list here. Let's see what we can get with 40,000 Naira in today's economy. As at this morning, a dollar is about 1,000, 100, 1,000, 150. It depends on where you are changing. But the parallel rate in Lagos as of this morning is 1,020 Naira. So let's go to the market. Let's see what we can buy with 40,000 Naira. I'm um, officially dressed. <laughs> official is the official for me. <laughs> I'm dressed. Let's go. Let's see what we can achieve. There's no food in the house, nothing. So we have to buy a lot with that 40,000 naira. If you are new to this channel, you're seeing this beautiful face for the first time. Hello, my name is Rejoice. Please consider subscribing to this channel. Turn on the post notification bell to all. Like this video, share with friends and families, and leave your comments in the comment section after watching this video. All right. Yes, let's go. Let's go. It's still very early. But because we are going to typical local market, the earlier the better. That's it. So that we can get something in bulk. Like it's always plenty when you buy very early. They call it a uh, show call. Like people from farm, they will bring it very early in the morning before it gets to people that will resell. I mean the retailer. So I want to put me a lot of or something. I don't know if the Yoruba that I'm even speaking is right. See, let's go. Currently, I'm inside Ojoba, and the first thing I'll be getting this morning is rice. As at the time of visit, a bag of rice was sold for 51,000 Naira. So I decided to get quarter of a bag, which was sold for 12,800 Naira. And just in case you are wondering, how many bowls of rice does a bag of rice contain? A bag of rice contains 30 bowls of rice. That's what they call abo or some. I think people in Lagos call it Congo or something. So if you are buying a quarter of a bag, it means you'll be getting seven bowls and half. And if you are wondering how many things of rice or how many cups of rice does a bowl contain a bowl of rice contains 10 cups of rice that is only if you are buying from those that are using the correct measurement there are some market in this ibada that they will tell you that a bowl contains eight cups of rice so it depends on where you are buying the second item on my list was beans and a, a bowl of beans was sold for 1,400 Naira. That is a Woloi. The white one was sold for 1,200 Naira. But because I prefer and I wanted a Woloi, I opt for a Woloi, which I got three bowls, which was sold for 4,200 Naira. <laughs> The next item I got was melon seed, which two cups was sold for 500 naira. The next item I got was plantain, which are ripe on, so I got uh, five pieces for a thousand naira.
the next item on my list was onion and onion was really expensive so i didn't buy so much i bought 200 naira onion the next item on the list was smoked fish and i noticed that the smoked fish that was sectioned for 500 naira was too small so i kept pricing that of 700 naira for 500 naira which she did not agree and honestly i didn't just want to leave her front because it's early in the morning and yeah after getting just one section of it for 500 naira i moved forward in order to you know check another person because that that one that i got for 500 naira was too small it won't be sufficient for the things that i wanted so i moved forward and i got from another vendor for 400 naira which was really painful because yeah normal me i don't mind whether it is money or something if i price something and you do not agree i will just leave your presence and move to another person but because i just felt ah you know it's early in the month don't let me do it just imagine the one that i got for 400 naira was even bigger than that of 500 naira that i got but yeah lesson learned anyway all the smoked fish that i got was 900 naira the next item on my list was garlic and ginger which i got each for 100 100 naira so both were 200 naira the next item on my list was meat which i got beef of 2500 naira <laughs> Grandma, yes, the next item on my list was cucumber and i got four pieces for 500 naira those other portions were sold for 200 naira but they were not big enough anyway after getting that i moved to the next seller beside the person selling cucumber and i got locust beans which i got locust beans of 200 naira <laughs> The next item on my list was uh, pepper. So I got scotch bonnet pepper of 500 naira. Each plate was sectioned uh, for 200 naira per one, but I priced it to three for 500 naira. So I got scotch bonnet pepper of 500 naira. I got uh, tomatoes of 500 naira as well. Then I got chili pepper of 200 naira and also red bell pepper of 200 naira. So all the pepper that I got was 1,400 naira. The next item on my list was punky leaves, which is ugu. So I got ugu of 200 naira. And after that, I went ahead to get mama. Each of this mama was sold for 200 naira, so I cost three. But yeah, I just want to tell you guys about this mama because it's not looking so fresh right now. It's because they just brought it out. And one thing is, if we get to those people that will wash it and arrange it well, they will not sell it for 200 naira. They will probably sell it for maybe 300 or 400 naira. And why not? I can always wash by myself, and it will even be neater because even if I buy from those people that will sell it for 400 naira per one it won't be neat i will have to wash it over and over again so i opt for this and i got just three which was sold for 600 naira i went ahead to fruit section which i got orange and 12 pieces of orange was sold for 400 naira which i think it was fair enough after getting that i went ahead to wear I wanted to get pineapple and I got two pineapple for 670 naira. And after getting pineapple, I went ahead to get watermelon, which two watermelon was sold for 830 
naira you might be wondering why 30 70 naira is because i priced it at dozen price you understand so you will not tell them you are getting one especially if you are not getting one right the next item i got was yam which i got six tubers of yam for three thousand five hundred naira honestly i felt it was too expensive because the last time i followed one of my friends to the market we got that size for 2500 but as you all know that everything keeps getting expensive daily anyway after getting that i got a uh, granite which a bottle was sold for 1000 naira the next item on my list was lime which i got lime for 200 naira and after that i went ahead to go and get a crate of egg which was sold for 2800 naira just imagine the last time i bought egg wool, i bought a crate for 2000 300 or 2500 i was even complaining at that point in time that it was too expensive because normally it used to be around 180 before it went up to 2300 now we are buying a crate of egg for 2800 just imagine dollar is really affecting every damn thing in nigeria so i just want to be delivered this is chicken from levite farm you can order, they will get it deeper. I do order my chicken from them, and sometimes whenever I want to get egg, I do get it from them. So I got two kg, and it's for 4,800 naira. So a kg is 2,400 naira. Anyway, everything I got in the market was 39,400 naira. In fact, the remaining 600 naira was not enough for my transport because transport from my house to Ojaba is like uh, is a lot. Yeah, especially when whenever I have to take boots. So, yeah. Guys, the guy is back home. I got home like uh, an hour thereabouts. So immediately I entered, I just had to prep everything that you are seeing here because I'm about to cook. But yeah, let me just end this vlog here because I want to start another one, okay? Thank you so much guys for watching this video, I really appreciate it. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe if you haven't and leave your comments in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts, alright? I will see you guys in my next one. Bye! yeah i think this video that i'm about to shoot will be for instagram so if you are not following me on instagram you might be missing out. So